hello guys welcome back to this channel hope everyone is fine on that note let's start this video guys for the past five years we have been giving solutions for various nptl courses including machine learning so i try my best to give you the most probable solutions guys so let's get into this video so this is week one assignment of the course introduction to machine learning so let's see the first question guys so these are completely my probable solutions so if you feel there should be any change of the solution please give your opinion in the comment section guys first one which of the following are supervised learning problems so for first question i have got two probable solutions guys the first one is second option weather forecast using data collected by a satellite and the other one is third one predicting tuberculosis using patient's chest x-ray so these two options I have got as the probable solutions for first question guys. Next moving on to the second one. Which of the following are regression tasks? Regression tasks. So for second question I have got the answer as option 2 guys. Predicting the weight of a giraffe based on its weight. I think it should be height so they have given weight so whatever may be so second option could be the probable solution for second question next moving on to the third equation which of the following are classification tasks so for third question there are two probable solutions that I have got the first one is first option itself predicting the outcome of an election and the other one is third option predicting the emotion conveyed by a sentence so these two are the probable solutions for third question that i have got next moving on to the fourth question fourth one so here they have given common data for both question uh, five, four and five so if you see here this blue dotted line is f1 okay and this curved line this curved one which separates red and green perfectly red dots and green dots perfectly is f2 function so they are asking which of the following two functions overfit the training data here you can see overfit so how can we confirm uh, which of the functions are overfit so if you see here the previously i have told the curved pink color function perfectly separates all the red and green ones right so function f function f2 so mark third option as probable solution for fourth question next moving on to the fifth one so guys i need your support to continue these videos so please like the video and please share this with your friends and classmates so that we can get more support and encouragement to do the further week assignments also guys so for the past five years we have been consistently doing these videos so please encourage us in order to make further videos so let's see the fifth question which of the following two functions will yield higher training error so for fifth question the probable solution is first option function f1 that means the blue dotted line next sixth question guys so before moving into the sixth question i want to make a small announcement so that is regarding exam preparation mcqs so with five years of nptl experience we have collected this preparation mcqs guys so these are the previous years questions so here we are providing you a huge number of 600 mcqs almost 600 mcqs guys for just 500 rupees only that too up to five members can access if one person purchase with 500 you can share the price so for if you are five months five persons up to five persons you can share that for just 500 rupees only so the validity will be till the exam day even it can be extended up to till the exam results day so such option is also available you can search any question you want guys it, it is also easy to revise so explanation is also provided guys so this is the email id pk179479 at gmail.com 
so you can mail me to this email id seeking purchase of exam preparation mcqs for machine learning you can specify the subject so if you want to pdf the pdf pack then only mail me guys so this is the mail id up to five members can access that so please share this news with your friends and classmates also so you can combinedly buy that and get for individual reduced price so with five years of nptl experience we have provided this case so for previous years also we have provided this and many students have taken our pack and got benefited so i hope you will do the same so you can share the price if you are more persons right so up to five persons the price is 500 rupees guys so this is the mail id you have to mail me i'll give the same email id in the description box as well guys so that's it guys now let's get back to the solutions sixth question what does the term policy refer to in reinforcement learning so for sixth question the answer is fourth option the strategy the agent follows to choose actions so mark option four as probable solution for sixth question now moving on to the seventh one seventh question given the following data set for k equal to 3 use knn regression to find the prediction for a new data point 2 comma 3 so we have to use euclidean distance measure for, for finding closest points so for seventh question i have got the answer as third option guys 2.8 third option as 2.8 so mark 2.8 third option as the probable solution for seventh question next moving on to the eighth question now eighth one for any given data set comment on the bias of k nearest classifiers upon increasing the value of k so for eighth question i have got the probable solution as third option the bias of the classifier increases so mark third option next ninth question bias and variance are given by so what are the respective formulas for bias and variance if you see the first option e of f of x minus f of x so this is the formula for bias and for variance it is e of e of f of x minus f of x whole square so first option is the probable solution for ninth question and moving on to the final question of the assignment that is 10th one so so friends once again i want to make you remember so we are providing almost 600 previous year mcqs for just 500 rupees only that too up to five members can share that guys so the validity will be till the exam results day and such option is also provided you can search any question you want there and it is also easy to revise so this is the mail id guys if you want to purchase then only mail me so this is the mail id so you can you can ask me by putting the subject as machine learning mcqs nptl pdf so there i will provide the payment link so that you can easily and safely make payment there so you'll get the access within five minutes of the payment guys so this is the mail id you have to mail me for so please share this news with your friends and classmates guys and please like the video and please share this with your friends and classmates as well and subscribe the channel so that you can get updates daily so now let's get back to the last question that is 10th one which of the following statements are false regarding bias and variance so for the final question i have got two probable solutions the first one is first option itself models which overfit has high bias and the last one is models which underfit have high variance so these two are the false statements so friends these are the probable solutions that i have got for the week one assignment so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and please share this with your friends and classmates guys and do subscribe our channel and like the video so if there are any changes definitely i will update that in the comment section if it come to my notice guys so that's it guys for this video so until the next video goodbye thank you